Now, so right now, with banks like Chase, Bank America, the large banks, they're only paying you probably 0.01%. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing with you guys one of my favorite money market savings account, and that is going to be the CIT Bank Platinum Savings. I'm not here to waste your time. Let's get started. After doing my research, this is one of the highest paying money market accounts out there. And the reason I want to go with the money market account is because I don't want my money to be tied up in a CD. It's like for me personally, I'm always looking out for opportunities to invest. So that's why I think that leaving my money in a savings account will give me more flexibility and do whatever I want. Because with CD accounts, some banks will have you pay a penalty if you choose to withdraw your funds early before the maturity date. The second reason is that we're currently in the rising interest rate environment. So what if the Fed decides to increase the rates next month? Then I'm going to be locking in at a lower rate. Whereas if I have the money market, the rate's going to be variable. Whereas a CD, you're going to be locked in for however long that is, whether it's six months, a year, you're going to be locked at that fixed interest rate. Now, going back to CIT Bank, I think a lot of people have not heard of CIT Bank. This is an online bank. It doesn't have any branches, so it does have less overhead. And those savings are passed on to the customers so that you guys get a higher interest rate for your money. Versus the big banks, they have a lot of branches, they have a lot of employees that have to manage, and that's why they're interest rates are usually lower and it's not their primary focus. So what is CIT Bank? CIT Bank is actually owned by First Citizens Bank. It has $109 billion in assets and has also 550 branches in 22 states. Also, First Citizens Bank is the 20 largest bank in the United States. It does have a really strong parent company backing it up. Also, everything is FDIC insured. Up to $250,000 will be insured by the government. And if you have more than $250,000, you can also add beneficiaries to your accounts. You can add a maximum of five beneficiaries in your account then you can be covered for up to $1.5 million. But if you have more than 1.5 million, then I would advise you to open at other banks. There are also other banks that's paying a high interest rate versus the large banks, such as the American Express, Capital One. Uh, there's a new one, it's called UFB Savings, which I haven't really tried yet, but they're also offering really competitive interest rate. Next, you might be asking, since CIT Bank is an online bank, is this going to be convenient for me? Well, I'll tell you this. In the digital age that we live in right now, when was the last time you had to walk into the bank to do business? Even right now, a lot of things such as doing wire transfer, they have Zelle, or applying for mortgages, uh, opening accounts. You can all do this online, right? I'm not saying to close out your accounts at the large bank. I would, Me personally, I still have one or two bank accounts open at a large bank, so I still want to have that convenience. But I really don't have any money there because all my money is over in CIT Bank. Because really, this one is such a great account because I'm really just parking my money there to earn some extra interest. And I'm able to transfer my money by ACH or electronic transfer online. It does take a little bit longer, about five to seven days for you to receive your money at the other account. For my checking account at the other banks, I will usually keep about one to two months of reserves to pay for my bills, credit cards. I know about how much I'll be spending month to month. So I'm able to plan ahead when I need to have the money in the account. And just in case you're wondering, while your money is being transferred over, since the interest is paid daily, you're going to be paid interest from the day you initialize the transfer. So you will not miss out on five to seven days for the money to actually be available in your account. So CIT Bank offers different products. They offer checking account, money market, or CDs. Uh, but for this video, I would like to focus on the Platinum Savings, which I think would be the best deal. It is currently paying 4.85% APY. And if you're looking at the interest rate, that is going to be 4.736% right now. Um, and the difference is there is just that 
APY, which stands for annual percentage yield, just means that you're going to be leaving your interest payment in your account. You're not going to withdraw it every month and it compounds for over the 12 months. And so interest rate is the actual way they calculate your interest. So I have personally used the CIT bank account myself for about two to three years now. I never really came into any issues. It is really safe and very passive. I checked it you know, once a month to see, make sure I, my interest got paid. For me, the interest gets paid at the end of the month. I think that'll be the same for everybody out there. For the platinum savings, it does have a minimum balance requirement of $5,000 in order to earn that 4.85% APY. Now, if you don't have the $5,000, it's gonna get bumped down to 0.25%, which is barely anything. They also have another type of account, which is called Savings Connect, and that account only requires a minimum balance of $100 and you're still getting a good interest rate of about 4.6% APY. If you guys got some value out of this video, let me know and make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.